Well, I think if you look at his voting record, he represents a certain segment of the population, and um, and it concerns me when people don't want to at least dialogue with the other side. Uh, when I was on the school board, one of the things that I would do is I would sit and talk with anyone, um, at least to hear their side of things, uh, to see if there is a common ground, a solution we could find. Uh, um, I, I know there may be a, a real uh, question as to whether you should go into an environment of people who may not be real happy with you. Uh, I suggest you try to go into a classroom of parents dealing with a boundary change if you really want to see a hostile audience. And, and go in there and try to talk with folks like that. But I think oftentimes there's a value in at least reaching out and talking to folks across the spectrum, whether you necessarily agree on issues or, or not. Absolutely. Um, when on the school board we had 10 Democrats and two Republicans. If you wanted to do anything, you were working with the other side uh, in the political realm because you know if you needed uh, seven votes, uh, you were going to have to. And the thing that I found, uh, especially on the school board, which, which really benefited uh, everyone, was when people recognized that what you were trying to do was accomplish the solution. When you had a similar goal and that sometimes the issue was just you were looking at a different way of achieving the goal, you could have that dialogue and that discussion when it wasn't just you're wrong because you don't want to do it my way. It's let's focus on how do we accomplish achieving the end objective and then see which of our ways might get us there. I, I hesitate to tell you what he thinks or what he believes. I really don't think that's fair for me, uh, but I can tell you from what he has written in his advertisements and the way he has voted, he, has, he thinks that taking money from the federal government regardless of the string attached to it is a good idea. Uh, and you see the desire on his part that the more money they can collect and you know, to his benefit or his credit, he may think that that's the way we do it. We get more money into a government, the government then uses it in a good manner, that's a good thing. Um, but I believe that we're much better off if the local community does the good thing, not having it filtered through the government. And he obviously believes any source of, of revenue is good to include taking money from the federal government regardless of the string that's attached to it. Well, first, we have to create a budget because by definition the budget's got to be, be balanced. Um, I've got a, I've got breaking news for you. Economies are cyclical. They go up, they go down. Uh, we we kind of know that and we've known that for a long time. And when you build a budget that uses every bit of revenue that it can get in an up cycle, especially in a bubble environment that we had with the dot-com bubbles and the housing bubble, you're setting yourself up for failure when the economy begins to dip. And uh, we were going to have a problem, period. Now, when the bubble started collapsing, um, that even made the problem worse. What we need to do is control the level of growth in the future so that as we get into the good swing in the economy, we don't make the same mistake that put us in this position we're in now. The Constitution was written, I believe, the, the Bill of Rights were written specifically because they knew governments had a tendency of taking rights away from their citizens. And as they become more tyrannical, those are the kinds of rights that they had just observed. These are the founders who had just had such an uh, uh, overbearing government from Britain that they decided to revolt and form their own government. And they had observed these are the kinds of rights that governments start to take away as they become more and more tyrannical. And so they wrote down specifically, these are the rights you cannot take away. Speech, uh, religion, bear arms. And it is specifically there so that people can defend themselves and protect themselves.